Hello everyone. Here we're looking at a beautiful back note from Switzerland. It's a 100 Swiss franc note. These were issued between 1956 and 1973. This particular note I have was issued in 1963. So as you know, Switzerland is not part of Eurozone. They still use their own currency, the Swiss franc which is pretty strong compared to the euros or US dollar. And Swiss franc is also used in Liechtenstein, which is a small country in Europe. So this banknote is issued by the Swiss National Bank. We have Swiss National Bank written out in three different languages, in Swiss, German, and Italian. This banknote was issued in Zurich and there's a lot of varieties and variants of this banknotes based on the signature combination. My particular banknote is pick number 49E, E as in echo. And this banknote was printed in London by the Delarue Printing Company and uh, it's a really beautiful large banknote. A lot of uh, wavy lines and geometric patterns in the background. On the right hand side we have a little boy holding a lamb in his left hand and a daisy flower in the right hand. Right underneath this figure, we have the classic Swiss cross in white. And then we have the denominations repeating along the right border. There's no watermark or security thread on this note. This bank note was demonetized in 1980. On the back, we have this real, really beautiful scene here. So let's actually look at the left-hand side. So we have the denomination here. Also, again, we have the, the name of the bank in three different languages. And as I get this bank note closer, you can see some security features with denomination, a figure, and the cross, you know, throughout this rectangular region. And this is what I want to talk talk to you guys about so this imagery here so this is a, a famous scene from Christianity so this scene is uh, um, of the legend of Saint Martin and his cloak so basically Martin was a Roman soldier in Gaul France and while riding his horse, he came across a poor beggar who was cold. And he got off the horse and with his sword, he cut his cape or cloak, the military cape or cloak in half. And he gave it, and he gave it to the poor man. Later that night, the legend goes that he had a dream or a vision that Jesus Christ was wearing the cloak that he had given away. And some say that the next morning he woke up and his entire cape or cloak was restored um, magically. Now, he was born in a pagan family, pagan Roman family, but after this vision, he got baptized and became Christian. Uh, a few years later, 
he left the military service and became a monk and ultimately Bishop of Tours. So now he's referred as Saint Martin de Tours. And he basically signifies charity and sharing. So this famous scene from Christianity of Saint Martin sharing his um, cloak with uh, a more, uh, you know, unfortunate or unfortunate person signifying charity. So really beautiful symbolism and, and meaning behind this banknote. Um, really, really cool banknote. And uh, Swiss, you know, banknotes are also very, very beautiful, especially the newer um, polymer notes. I don't have too many of the modern notes, but I'm definitely looking into getting some modern Swiss francs. They're pricey because of that exchange rate, but uh, definitely worth looking into and adding to your collection. Okay, guys, take care.